Good gloomy afternoon, y'all. Good gloomy afternoon. I already made one video, but I look out here in my backyard and I saw Pinky. And I said, let me show them what's going on with Pinky. I don't know why she's laying over there like that, y'all. See that? She looks almost like she's laying down. I don't know if the wind, I guess the wind blew her, you know, over. And so she's just laying there. I think maybe I should get something to tie her up with. You know, like a, a big old heavy cord or something. Just to tie her up. And that rain is really dripping down here on my... There. And I move that. I don't know if I'm even getting this in the video, y'all. But that, that's the main reason I had came out here to show you this pinky. I want to walk out here. If I can get my... Where's my rubber shoes at? Because it's really not that cold. I just want to see what's going on. I haven't checked out Pinky for a while. I haven't checked out anything for a while, y'all. Yeah. Uh. Woo! So, I'm going to walk out here in the rain. I don't mind the rain. But I just don't want to get sick. But like I said, you know, um, I've been doing a lot of coughing and carrying on. See, this is, this is her. She's got the berries. And I really do not know what type of tree this is. I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of berries. I hope you can get a good look. I don't want my phone to get too wet because I'm afraid it might, uh, you know, blank out or something. But just so that you can see how she's leaning. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I, I did it up close. But that rain feels kind of cold. You know how you get a good old cold bottle of water? That's what that rain feels. It's about the same. I don't like my um, water. I don't like anything real cold. And just about like that, that rain feels, that's how I like my water. And... Well, this is, you know, I keep my water at room temperature. I don't put no water in the refrigerator or put, you know, do this, do that, and do the third. I don't even really like a real cold soda. When I go to a McDonald's or a Burger King, you know, somewhere like that, those fast food places, I just tell them no ice. Put no ice in my soda. Because you know what? When, when the soda's coming straight out of the fountain, it's already cold. What do I need you ice to water it down for? And so I just tell them no ice. Sometimes if I just want a little bit of ice that melt in my mouth or something like that, I'll say little ice, very little ice. Yeah, because they fill that whole cup up with water, you get about that much so I mean with the ice. The whole cup is filled with water. I mean ice. I keep saying the same thing, yeah. Whole cup filled up with ice. And you get she puts about that much soda in that great big cup. Come on, what you got? Watered down sodas, what you got? Anyway, y'all, uh, I just came up here to try to show you, to show you Pinky. And I'm getting ready to have me a tuna fish sandwich for lunch. I'm just going to have a tuna fish sandwich and I got some um, uh, barbecue potato chips, which they are so hard. What is going on with, I just don't know. I said that way too many times, far too many times. And uh, I don't want to keep saying that same thing over and over and over because you might think I'm a broken record. But it's the truth. Even the potato chips, it, it, you get them, they're so hard. It's as if they're adding something to, I don't know what could make a potato that hard like that. Because I can make potato chips here in my deep fryer. I have a deep fryer. And I can make, they would not be that hard like that. But the only thing is, I don't have, you know, I have to have a whole bunch of oil to put in there. And I don't have, I emptied it out. Um, I think the last time I used it was my grandson was using it. 
Well, you know, he fried some fish in it. And so I cleaned that out after that and uh, got rid of that old, you know, the grease. Uh, the oil, should I say, it's oil in there. And uh, I haven't put any oil in there since. That's been, ooh, long time ago. Maybe, I don't know if it's been a year. It, you know what? It might have been about a year. If it's not, if it hasn't been a year, it's close to it. And so, you know, if you get your air fryer, slice your potatoes real thin. You, if you got a mandolin or whatever, slice them real thin. thin. Put them in that deep fryer. Boom, boom. Potato chips. Believe me, you'll be able to eat them at least. These things sticking out, you know, they're, they're hard. They're so hard until they stick in. Well, they stick in my gums because I don't have my teeth. Like I said, I can't wear those false teeth anyway. But I keep saying I'm going to try them again. I'm going to try them again. But I think them things need to be replaced. Because the last time I tried them on, they were like falling all out of my mouth. I couldn't chew with them. I just could never from the time I've had them. I cannot. And there's another uh, uh, lady. Uh, she's a friend of mine. You know, sort of a uh, passing friend. A chit chat when you see me, friend. That kind of friend like that. And uh, she can't wear hers either. There's a lot of people like that. But then some people, they don't have no problem with them. My mom didn't have no problems with hers. My cousins didn't. And they, you know, they look, of course, you look nicer when you, got on, when you do have teeth in your mouth than you do when you don't have teeth in your mouth. And I have no teeth in my mouth. And when you got when you when you got all your teeth out, oh God, I don't want to go there with how they pull my whole jawbone out. But um, when you when you <laughs> excuse me, y'all, I had to laugh at my own joke. But you know, I wasn't intended to laugh. But as I thought about it for a minute, there, you know, it's like one of those time jokes. You know, you laugh when you get it, when you feel like it. Sometimes somebody might tell you a joke last week. You know, and you don't get it then, but. Maybe a couple of weeks from down the line, you think about that thing, and it cracks you up. What was that sort of thing just now with me? But um, a lot of people uh, do, you know, they eat whatever they want, except maybe some, you know, you can't take a bite of an apple. Some people can take a bite of an apple. And then I saw on the television the other day where is they're getting... Uh, uh, people with Medicare can get implants. I don't know if I want that, though. I don't know if I want those screws up in my gut. I don't want it. But I would like to be able to chew certain foods better, you know, like a pork chop sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. I used to love a good old pork chop sandwich, y'all. Get me a pork chop sandwich on a Pepsi. Honey hush. Hush your fuss. Oh my goodness, and a corn on the cob, I just love, you know, ain't nothing, when you go to the, uh, not the fair, well, the fair too, I guess, the fair, they got some fairs going on here, as a matter of fact, not a uh, couple of weeks, I think, but you go to the amusement park, you know, and ain't nothing look more better than seeing somebody walking around with a corn on the cob. And a corn dog. It looks good, but I don't, I don't like corn dogs, though. It looks good, though. It looks like you might want it. But <laughs> when you bite into that sucker, you realize, hey, I want the corn dog. I'll stay with the corn on the cob. But that corn on the cob be like turning and butter. Oh, man. You at the amusement park. Let them ride the roller coasters and do what they do. But give me the corn on the cob, honey. That could be my friends a couple of times that day. Oh, yeah. And you know something else that uh, I used to think looked so good was the cotton candy. You got the cotton candy going on. Of course, popcorn is always one of your favorites. But you take the cotton candy and you pull the beat. That's about all it is, y'all. It looks good. You know, you, you especially you're a kid, you got you some cotton candy. You in there. You you know, you got your cotton candy. You happy. It doesn't take much to make a child happy anyhow. So when you get him a, 
give him some cotton candy at the amusement park or either give him some ice cream. Whoo, whoo, whoo. He's the happiest kid in the camp. Oh, yeah. And so is Grandma. Grandma, all around, Grandma loves her corn on the car. Don't leave her out. I love corn now. I eat me some. I eat cream corn sometimes. I don't eat the kernel too much no more, but I will put it in a in a stew or something if I'm cooking it. You know, but you know how it goes in. This is how it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out the same old way. So hey, either way you slice it, but corn is good. I tell you that corn on the cob. I mean that yeah, that corn on the cob, and that. Cream corn that you buy, that's in a can, and that's good. I usually add a little bit more butter to it or something like that. Spice it up, spruce it up, or whatever. That's some good eating. Oh, boy. I ain't mean to stay up here that long, y'all. Because like I said, I just made a video not too long ago. It's probably finished uploading by now. And that's one thing I noticed. Um, I remember a couple of weeks ago, you know, a while back, it used to take so long for the videos to upload. Them videos now, I made a video, I think a maybe 20 minute video. Usually take a maybe an hour, two hours to upload. I'm like, what is going on? But now, you put that, now this is on the Samsung Galaxy uh, Android. You put that bad boy in, sometimes it's, they say it's 12 minutes, it's done. 15 minutes, done. I don't know what they did, but they did something good. They did something right. They put it like that. Cause anybody got time to be waiting all night for no video to upload? Oh boy, what's this on my TV? I tell you, I can't even. Well, in here, I don't have my fire stick. One of my fire stick went bad. I'm like, what's going on with this now? First, my scooter. Now my fire stick. One of my fire sticks. So what I've been doing, I got the, the only fire stick that's working. I got another one, I think. What's it at? Today is Wednesday. Okay, my, my new fire stick should be here tomorrow. When one thing goes, it seems like be, if, if something else is going to go too. Usually it's about three things in a row that goes. They all go about the same time. So anyway, the fire stick that I had in my bedroom... I bring it out here in my living room when I'm out here in the living room. But I didn't bring it out here today because when I jumped up out of the bed that went up to pick the food, uh, the food box uh, up, I ain't had time to, to unplug it, which it don't take but a half a second to just unplug it and plug it up over here on this TV because I like to watch my YouTube videos in here and talk to the YouTube community and the YouTubers. On that note, I go with love.